Hey, and we are now back with another Sakura game. Oi, Mina, and welcome. My name is Shish Anime, and welcome to Sakura Gamer. Now, this is in fact the next title in line for me to play if I'm going by time order. And I'm hoping that that flying bit on the screen isn't actually the game breaking and it's just part of what's supposed to go on here. It, it, it's actually kind of unnerving me. So, we're just going to jump straight into this because this is the next Sakura game. We've already gone through so many of these. And I heard, I found out that the second game came out recently. So guys, Ikimashuka. Let's go. I think I've seen enough boos to last me a lifetime. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's the first, that's the first sentence. It's gonna be good. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, it's a statement to myself, I guess. Honestly, when I started to work as a computer repair technician, I never knew it would involve quite a large scale, a large amount of staring at naked women. What? Hold up. What? what? I mean, um, what, how are you managing to see naked women for fixing computers? I don't even want to stare at naked women. Why not? Why would I? When I have Clover. Who's Clover? Sadly, the job I get fall the jobs I get fall into one of three categories. I'll outline them for you for your ease and convenience. Category one: people who think they can use their CD drives as drink holt. Type of sick madman. Category two: people who haven't realised most issues with their electronics can be solved by turning them off and on again. <sighs> yep. Category 3, people whose children typically male. I mean, but there are always exceptions. I was, I was going to say, it's not just males, thank you very much. Have downloaded large amounts of porn from shady websites on the family computer, thus giving them viruses. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's probably true. Today I had to work a half other jobs that fell into the third category. It was awful. There were pop-ups everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I've seen enough digital images of breasts and genitals splashed across computer screens to last me a lifetime. Me and you both. So awkward, too. Especially when the poor, embarrassed mothers of these poor, obsessed children hang about in the background, wringing their hands and opening their eyes and apologising. Right. Got a story for you. <laughs> <laughs> when I was working in a tech shop uh, a while back when I was work when I was in the UK, let's just say that um, one of the things that we uh, a customer was selling was actually the customer actually had naked photos of themselves as well as uh, their daughter on there as well. So uh, yeah, they were both taking pic naked pictures of themselves on the same device and were selling it to us. And I only found this out by accident because I went to, um, it was like an iPad, so I double tapped the the home button and it accidentally brought up images which show, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> luckily I pressed it fast enough for it to go away, so nobody noticed, but uh, that was when I was at the counter when they were right in front of me, so that was a close one. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Who wants to look at porn with women in their 40s? Um, you'll be surprised at the amount of orbicons that exist. Or, or, or yakudons that exist. Especially when said porn sometimes involves women in their 40s. That's always fun. And by fun, I mean horrible. In time, these harry harried mothers usually start falling on typical social necessities as a way to escape these uncomfortable situations. Oh, uh, excuse me, miss. Do you want a cup of tea? Then they retreat to their kitchens while I stress over their malware-infested PCs to potter about ineffectually and speak. Spend hours brewing a single cup of green tea. God damn it, woman, I need my tea. <laughs> if I was ever served that slowly in a restaurant or a cafe, I'd complain. When I'm on the clock, however, I welcome the absence of my clients wholeheartedly. It's hard to focus when somebody else is watching you. Yeah, I, I, I understand that one. I get that one. Especially when there's so much porn. 
I don't get paid enough to do it all. Uh, I'm not going to worry about monetization anyway. I've been completely demonetized, so screw it. At least I usually get a cup of green tea out of it. A cup of green tea that, when I finally receive it, is already stone cold. <laughs> nah, this is when you like. This is a British problem. This one right here. It's not just a Japan problem. But the only difference is, is when you make one yourself, you, you forget about it on the side, then you leave it for so long that once you finally go to, that when you finally realise you made a tea, it's so cold that you can't drink it. And to think, I only started studying computers because once upon a time I wanted to be a game designer. Yay! So that's why it's Sakura Game. Those dreams have been destroyed now. Oof. Destroyed by the menacing spectre of adulthood. Dang. I'm sorry, bro. I sigh heavily as I walk down the street. It's getting dark already. The night air is crisp and cool against my skin. At least it helps calm my head. The wind toys with my hair, making it flutter. The hem of my jacket twitches. I glance upward and brush a, through a few loose strands of hair behind my ear. Oh, I'm guessing I'm a girl then. The sky is filled with stars. That's a big red star as well. The stars are small like tiny pinheads and they twinkle brightly. Pretty. But I don't have enough time to stand around in the street contemplating. I'm tired, hungry, and most importantly of all, I want to take a shower. I cross the street. My house isn't too far away. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice house, all things considered, especially for a recent college graduate. It's not a mansion, by any stretch of the imagination, but it has three bedrooms, a moderately large kitchen, and a garden. I guess I'm not doing too badly for myself. Sometimes after a busy day at work, I start obsessing over the negatives. But my life is pretty comfortable, all things considered. Hey, there we go, making the best of life. Well, hello there. You uh, have Chiaki energy. <laughs> I can just imagine the hey hey coming from her. I open the front door and close it behind me with a slam. The lights are all turned on. I guess Clover is still awake. Oh, okay, I'm guessing this is me. So wait, if the art is like this, can I expect the main leads to be female? I'm guessing. Well, that goes without saying. She doesn't go to bed until 3 or 4 in the morning during the summer. She always has a video game or 2, or 20, to work through. Especially those she couldn't get around to playing during the school term. Oh uh, my, if you all saw my freaking Vita collection, you would know, Backox. It's nice to know she's so easy going. Some things never change. I sigh and slide off my shoes. I line them up neatly beside Clover's cast-offs. Clover has too many shoes. Sometimes I wonder if she's trying to stop them, lest the apocalypse arrives, taking all shoe stores with it in its wake. Surely, there are better things she could spend her money on. Yeah. Yeah, some, some girls really like collecting shoes. I know this because my mother had a habit of doing that as well. She used to collect a lot of boots. And I mean a lot of boots. Not that it's any of my business. I'm on. I'm not her mother. <sighs> I only want that shower. I should probably dump my bags in my room first. I climb the stairs with my slow sluggish legs and open my bedroom door. So I'm a girl that's seen plenty of boobs in my time. Well, I would have guessed so because you wake up to seeing them, I guess. The lights are already on end. Hello? You're not gonna give me any music? Just... Um... This is an invitation, I guess? Uh... Excuse me one second. You didn't see anything. I wasn't getting a thumbnail. <laughs> I do like the picture. The art is great, but... It's, it's very tempting, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, I just want a shower. Oh my goodness me. Oh, I just noticed. Oh, look at the copies of the game. Sakura Fantasy, Sakura Fantasy 3, Sakura Nova, Magical Girl, Sakura Maid, Adventure, Sakura Dungeon. What are all these sequels? What are all these sequels? Hold on. Sakura Fantasy 2. Where is Sakura Fantasy 2? We are never getting it. It's the answer. Sakura Nova 2. I, I, I wouldn't actually mind Sakura Nova 2 because 
Sacronova was the first Sacronova I liked. I liked Sacronova. Sacra Dungeon. Yes, yes, yes. Why is there a three? Where's two? Why is your collection so mismatched? It's driving me insane. Sacra Adventure? What the hell is Sacra Adventure? I don't know that one. Anyway, who are you? You're Clover. Hi, honey. Welcome home. Clover. I am Neko. I am basically Cat Princess. I am the Princess of Cats, which means I am the freaking Queen of Puss. Thank you, I'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Clover. I look at my best friend of some ten years with narrowed eyes. There are, rumor, there are numerous ways you could describe the current expression on my face. Bored, indifferent, apathetic, but excited is not one of them. Do you know what? That was the same energy that I actually had. Well done. You actually nailed the energy that I got from this. Although it is very nicely drawn. I've, I've got to admit. Maybe that's what... Maybe that's what Clover wants. But Clover can't always have her own way. Even if she is incredibly pushy. Pushy enough to invite herself into my room when I'm out. Sit on the edge of my bed and balance one of my VS4... Nice, nice avoiding the copyright. Controllers on the, on the sizable shelf of her breast. Why does it have a cable, though? And look at the cable! I think she's broken it. A USB is supposed to have the thing to insert it into the female part. Why is, it a fe why is that a female part? That just seems so backwards. <laughs> oh god, that's messing with my head now. While wearing one of those ridiculous outfits she likes so much. Yeah, it's it's got a style to it, I guess, and I do like uh, I do like the top the top bit with the under with the under move. Uh, that that does I like I like those shirts for myself. I don't know what you're playing at, but you should put my VS4 controller away. Those things are expensive. <laughs> What's in a hee hee hee? Why is she sticking her tongue out like that? It's nice to see you too, Nagahime. For the record, Nagimi isn't my real name. It's Saya. I was going to say, you're the queen of puss. Oh, it's because you're a hoodie, isn't it? Clover isn't Clover's real name either. She's actually called Chica. Nekohimi and Clover are just our intention, our internet handles. Uh, I can understand why she's called Clover, actually, just by looking at her. I don't know what it is. It's, it's just a feeling, you know. I first met Clover on an internet RP role playing board. Of course, a role playing board. Ten years ago. We were both in our first years of middle school. Not that we went to the same schools. We spoke online for years before our relationship transitioned into the real world. So we still call one another by our online names when we're offline like this. Why though? It might sound a little complicated, but it's not. Nah, it's not complicated, but uh, just call each other by your names, I guess. I just wish when I was 12, I had had the foresight to call myself something a little less embarrassing than Nekohime. Yeah, so that means the main character's 22. She's 22. Damn, whatever. She's the same age as me. Can you please put my controller down? So you see this totally sexy girl posing on your bed and all you can say is put the controller down? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What else do you want me to say? It's just not a very interesting response at all. I'm not an interesting person. Oof. Well, you might be right about that. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Ouchie. Seriously, what's the point in all this? I gestured towards Clover, or to be more precise, her breasts. Oh, nothing. I just thought I might be able to fire you up a bit. You've been looking so down lately. So, y you two like those type of buddies? And also, might I just ask? That looks like um, a Mr. Game & Watch thing, possibly. That looks like a possible... S I don't know what controller that could be. That, um, that's probably not an NES or a parody one. I, I'm not so sure what to call it. Because I, unlike you, still have to go to work. Don't you like your job? Having a conversation with Clover while she's posing on my bed, controller propped up in the breast. It's kind of surreal. At least it would be if I wasn't so accustomed to her antics. Clover does stuff like this all the time. 
of course I don't like my job. I have to get out of bed early, work long hours, and worst of all, I'm expected to interact with other people. God damn it, you recluse. <laughs> well, you've never exactly been too good with all of that. It's a huge pain. Today was the worst. Was it more or less annoying than the woman in the Shinto shrine who filled her laptop CD drive with rock? <laughs> Excuse me, what? What was she trying to do? Dry out the computer? It was more standard. Only teenage boys, family PC, too much born, you know. Ah, malware. Lots of it. And pop ups? Mm. Did you see any nice boobs? I saw a lot of boobs. They all start to blend together after a while. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, they do. So, what do you think about mine? Are they better or worse? Uh, am I seriously answering this question now? Also, that sound is a bit piercing. But very appropriate for game. Your boobs are the best boobs they are, or are you taking this? Are you seriously asking me this question? Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Just, just you really need to ask. Obviously, your boobs are better. Yay! I knew you were a woman of discerning taste, Nakuma. She is a lady of culture. Now, if that's all, I'm going to have a shower. Ah, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, my goodness. Look at that reflection. Um, oh, God, what game is that from? On the wall. On the wall. On the wall. Uh, was that? No, it's not Sakura Dungeon. Um, is it Sakura Angels? I feel like there's Sakura Angels. Oh, gosh. That is a flashback. I don't think it's Sakura Swim Club myself, so it's got to be... It's got to be Sakura Angels, I think. Wow. It's been a while, like four years, maybe? Clover finally sets the controller down. She sits on the edge of my bed, looking at me expectantly. I sigh. What is it, Clover? This better not be something stupid. I promise it isn't. You didn't jam the toaster again, did you? No way. Or clog the toilet. That was a long, long time ago. Hey, listen, we all have one of those days. It happened... It happened last Tuesday. Details, details. I mean, if we didn't need to know, but okay. Also, I do like their designs. I do like their character designs a lot. Ahem. She clears her throat. I managed to get us a new tenant. Oh, you did? Mm hmm This girl called up earlier and asked if our spare room was still available. I said it was, and she asked if she could come round today to scope the place out. And I said okay. And she just signed a warrant? Today? That's right. Isn't that great? Okay, but now we're, uh, I guess we haven't got a lot of money at all. Clover and I used to live with another girl, but she moved out a couple of months ago. She relocated to Hokkaido. That's the very north of Japan. Something related to her job, and the spare room's been empty ever since. We've been trying to shift it for a while, but haven't had too much luck. Having another tenant is more than welcome. I don't like people, but I do like money, and I don't want to turn up, turn my nose up at extra income. This house doesn't pay for itself, of course. Neither does the electricity bill, which is going to be through the roof this summer, thanks to Clover's unhealthy fixation with video games. This is why you get handhelds. Even so, I'm a little skeptical about this arrangement. Don't you think that seems kind of fast? You think? Hmm, you'd expect her to think about it a, a bit first. But well, yeah, she only just came down today and was like, Yep, this is definitely where I'd like to live for a while. I mean, it is a bit sudden. I just noticed that Nekahime's uh, uh, jumper has basically got Tetris on it. Nice. And also, I gotta say, I love the Neko stockings. She must love cats. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to have a drink. Plus, I wanted to meet her before she signed anything, yeah. But you never want to meet anyone, Nekihimi. I know, but it'd be nice to get a look at her face, at least. I want to know what kind of person we're laying into our house. Don't worry about it. I'm a great judge of character. Sure you are. I am. I can tell you right away she'd be a really great girl to live with. She was very energetic. 
I don't like energetic people. Well, there we go. You like me. I put up with you. It's different. Oh, savage. Whew. Oh, Nekohime, don't be so cold. We know each other forever. For forever. And that's why your company is tolerable. I don't know if I can cope with another one of you. Well, we'll just have to see how it turns out. You'll be able to find out soon enough. What do you mean? She's going to move in tomorrow. Well, that's quick. Tomorrow? Now that really is fast. Are you sure this girl doesn't have a criminal record? Yeah, that's kind of important to check on now that I think about it. She didn't look like the type who would commit theft or arson, did she? Well, it's always hard to tell, of course. Of course. But she was, like, super cute. You can't believe how cute she was. So we're going to die tomorrow. Okay, guys, this is going to be a very short Sakura game. <laughs> so you think cute can people can't commit crimes? Have you not heard of the Andre murderer? Oof, goodness me. The, un the Andre girl that was convicted in Japan, she was disturbing. Oh, wow. Like, if you guys know the person I'm on about, Joey done a... Joey the Anime Man done a video about her. I had a look at the uh, report, official report myself, and it was disturbing. It was really disturbing. It's unlikely. I mean, she was really adorable. I'm sure you'll understand when you see her, Nekohime. Uh, listen, listen, cute girls can still commit crimes. I hope so. For your sake, Clover, I hope so. Oh, no, for your sake. Okay. If she's let a convicted serial killer into our home, I'm going to be very, very angry with her. And I don't blame you. Well then, hello, why are we showering with our clothes on? Oh, oh, come on. Why are we showering with our clothes on? Why? What, 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 what? Please don't tell me I'm going to rage at this. Please don't. I like games. And you're showing me gamer girls who bathe with clothes on. Who wash with clothes on. But why? But why? Why? Oh, I'm, I, I'm probably not going to enjoy this one. I can, I can probably tell now I'm probably not going to enjoy Sacre Game. <laughs> oh boy, guys. Strap on in. Ah, that feels good. You, you, Nekohima, are you sure you're not a serial killer? You're on about, like, having another, uh, having a serial killer in the house, but you are literally showering with clothes on. Do you mind telling me? And informing everyone why you're doing so, please. I sigh softly as the water cascades over my body. I was so tired after work, I didn't change out of my clothes. Why, though? I didn't even take off my glasses. Well, you, you could have at least kept, kept them on, that's fine. According to Clover, my glasses are my charm point. Whatever that means. Yeah, do you know what? I can I can see that. I can see that. Although the frame doesn't actually go around your ear because uh, there's no red there, which is very weird. She plays too many erotic games, especially for an elementary school teacher. <laughs> Anna, Anna. <laughs> oh no. I was surprised when she told me her lifelong dream was working with children. Fortunately, she doesn't dress in skin-tight latex when she's around those under 12 years of age. No, that's when you'd call the police. And so, the moral fiber of Japan's children continues to be protected. Protect the kids! Protect! Or something like that. I'm so sleepy. I'm not really thinking straight. Then again, when, I have, when have I ever done that? Yeah. I know my cheek against the slow, steady stream of warm water. And also, I want, I want, and I declare this right now, I want the saxophone man to be in this game. I don't want to think that he is dead. And not have his final appearance being Sakura agent. So yes, yeah, so she makes cat noises by herself as well. I must look like such a slob. Collapse at the bottom of the shower stall in my panties. Yeah, I think to clean all areas, clothes have to be off. Just, just saying. At least I had the full sight to take my skirt off. But not your jacket. Like, you couldn't be bothered to take off your jacket at least. You're probably going to wear that tomorrow as well, aren't you, you sick psycho? I might be lazy, but I'm not that lazy. Oh, no, you're plenty lazy. You're plenty lazy. Hmm, 
the water, the warm water really is nice. It caresses my skin softly. My limbs don't ache as much as they did before. My limbs always ache after a busy day at work. Yeah. That's what happens when you have to take the train everywhere, sandwiched between businessmen and women while the carriage rocks back and forth. Yep, sounds about right. Seriously, why is Japan so busy? Tokyo is the worst. The Tokyo Tube is something, yes. But I've been in trains that have been fully packed in uh, Osaka, and I tell you what, they are just as bad. They are just as bad during the rush times. They, oh, you will suffocate. I don't like people at the best of times, and especially I don't like them when I'm crammed against them with their elbows and knees digging into me. Yeah, that's probably not great either. At least the shower knows how to treat a girl right. <laughs> I yawn idly, rubbing shampoo into my hair. I think this might be clover shampoo, actually. It smells of cinnamon, a bit too strong for my liking. I prefer more subtle aromas, like barley tea or vanilla, but Clover says that's incredibly boring. Eh, what, people like their own smells, what can I say? It's could be boring ever since we first started talking online. Then why the hell are you friends? It's a wonder we're even friends, exactly. It's a wonder I have any friends at all being so gloomy. But I wasn't always like this. Part of it's because of work. Having a job does this to people. I think it's inevitable. Especially when you're a freelancer like me and your hours are all over the place. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get called out for emergency repairs in the early hours of the morning. Oh my goodness. And to think, I only started dabbling with computers because of Clover. It was back when we were both kids and we went to different schools in different parts of Japan. Clover was born in the north, around the Tohoku region. And I was born in Shikoku. Uh, we could only communicate through our keyboards. She decided we should make a game. We tossed a few ideas back and forth. Mostly rip-offs of the penultimate fantasy series. Come on! Come on, really? And I started studying Java and C++ in my spare time. Okay. But I, I built up quite the bank of knowledge over the years. But it was all for nothing. Clover and I never found a time to work on that game. I was too busy with school then, and college, uh, then college, and now I have a job. I thought knowing a little bit about programming might come in handy as a computer repair technician, but that was wishful thinking. My career is based around telling people to turn their appliances off and on again. That's all. <laughs> Damn. So, you've always been. You, as you say, quite boring. Maybe because you were socially outcast. And now that I look at it, now that I look at it, hold on, no, wrong button. Your underwear, have you, have you not bought any new ones? Because they look like they are about to snap. Look, it looks like down here they already have. Why are they in there? Come on. Like, at least make sure you wear some proper undies so that it doesn't like hurt your skin. Jesus. I never had the chance. Now I'm worried that chance will never come. Honestly. I pout, pinching a strand of damp hair between my fingers. What was the point of all that? My dreams of making real video game? A real video game. Like the RPGs, dungeon crawlers, and ro roguelikes I love so much as a child beef for nothing. I mean, that's a lot of ambition. So you gotta make a game first. I don't even have the time to play video games nowadays. I'm too busy working. That's what being an adult is like, I guess. Yeah. Even if it sucks. At least I can take tomorrow off. I need to be around the house so I can welcome our tenant. The new girl. What was her name again? We never found out. Yeah, exactly. We didn't find out. I don't think Clover mentioned it. I bet Clover doesn't even know. That'd be so like her. If nothing else, tomorrow should be interesting at least. I mean, you're not wrong. And it looks like I'm being woken up. Hello. Um, should I continue or? I feel like I've only done this for 20 minutes and I've already got two CGs. Unfortunately, I wasn't a big fan of the last one. I mean, come on. That just makes me think that Nekohime, the person that we're controlling is a psychopath. <laughs> hey, 
Nakahime. Hmm? Get up, sleepyhead. Yeah. <laughs> you don't kill yourself, Nakahime, for nothing. Mm. I moan, nuzzling my head into my pillow. I can feel the sunlight dancing across my skin. It runs through my hair. Nice. Soft. Warm. Why should I wake up when I feel so cosy? I hardly ever get to sleep in, thanks to my job. My sleep schedule's all messed up. I snatch quick cat naps whenever I can fit them in. Between my stints to uh, Kichijoji or Asakusa to help yet another useless businessman using his CD drive as a drinks holder. But that's all I get. Who thinks like that? I've never... Uh, actually, I've seen people who have made internet jokes about it, but never actually done it. Sadly, Clover isn't having any of it. She can be pretty assertive when she wants. I mean, yeah. Wake up, Nekohime. Yeah. I hiss. Yeah. <laughs> Shine away from her fingertips and close my eyelids even more tightly than before. She isn't to be deterred. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Her fingers fly from my body. They poke and prod about the hollows of my armpits and the soles of my feet until... All right, fine. I'm up, I'm up. I push back the blankets and pull myself into a sitting position. Oh my god. That picture on the top. Well then. If I am not mistaken by those, isn't that the Sakura Maid ones? Or is that... No, that can't be Sakura Dungeon. Is that the first game? Is that Sakura Fant... No, it's not. The characters are different. Aren't they? Damn, that was a bit more graphic. Jesus! Good morning. I blink blearily, rubbing at my eyes with one hand and... Yeah, she wore her soaked freaking jumper in bed. I'm convinced that Nekohime has killed someone. How could you sleep in something that you literally showered in? Yeah. Oh, I see a little Game Boy down there on the PS3. Nice. Ah, did I fall asleep wearing my glasses? You should be more careful, you know. You could scratch your lenses. Please, you're the last person who should lecture to me about being careful. Boo. Clover pouts. I do work in elementary school, you know. I'm surprisingly reliable. All my students call me Big Sis, and they always tell me how much they love me. Yeah, right. Don't you yeah, right, me? It's true. Whatever. Are you on again? Pressing a hand against my mouth. My hair is all disheveled. My hair is always disheveled. Sleepy Princess, let me fix that for you. <sighs> Clover sits on the edge of my bed and brushes a few stray strands of hair out of my mouth. Oh, okay. My hair is damp with my own drool. Uh, how did you manage that? But Clover doesn't wince. Instead, she smiles indulgently and pats me on the head. Is this what you do with your students? Sometimes, if they fall over and hurt themselves. I'm not a kid. I know you're not. Not with those boobs. Clover. But girls are developing quicker and quicker all the time. She is eight years old. If you know the picture I'm on about, yes, that, uh, that was weird. Not damn estrogen. I saw a TV show about it. Something about processed meat. I really don't care. You don't care about much. You're so grumpy. Clover, Clover runs her fingers through my hair. She's smiling. Just like a kitty cat. There, there. If you kid up, I'll bite you. Now, now. Now, now. I know you don't. I know you won't do that, my good little kitty. Don't call me that. <laughs> Wow, we are so grumpy. Like, we, we're just like, just shut up, go away. I mean, this is beyond Kazumi Yuji level of uh, freaking get off me woman. <laughs> but, how, but how can I resist when your name's Nekohime? It was a bad decision. I think it suits you perfectly. <laughs> she continues to pat my head, running her fingers through my white curls. Yeah, it just feels like I'm going to be an arsehole, really. It feels nice. Yeah, so I'm just going to choose that, and I'm going to get past the CG, and I think that's going to be it for the first part of the, this game. I don't want to encourage her, but her hand is kind of warm. The feeling of her palm on top of my head is pretty nice. It's making me drift off again. My eyelashes flutter. All of a sudden, 
I feel so sleepy. No, this is no good. I can't let Clover see me in this delicate defensive state. It would rear my reputation. Fire it! Whatever. Whatever little reputation I have. Alright, that's enough of that. I back Clover's hand away and slide out of bed. With a yawn, I stretch my arms into the air. My joints click. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna end this here. This feels this feels like a good place to <sighs> end this off. So unfortunately, I am now all out of time, guys. But what I will say is, if you want to get this game yourself, I'll also leave a link in the description below. So wait, no, that's Sakura Dungeon. I got it, I got it, the picture of Sakura Dungeon, it's Sakura Dungeon, I got it, I remember, I remember, it's the main girl, pretty sure, uh, I think it was the poster picture for Sakura Dungeon, I think about it, but thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want any more from me, and I shall see you in the next video, so, ah, f bollocks, I just hit my headset, I tried to do my normal freaking solitaire and conked my freaking finger on the top, Ah! Ow! You prick me. Solitaire. <laughs> I'll indeed see you next time. Medic! Medic!